What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode or your first episode of Getting Groovy, the podcast where me, Connor Minkowitz, I get Connor Mink. You don't know that. I shorten it because you can't spell that. Um, Connor Mink, me, I talk to someone and they're generally a person. I haven't gotten the budget to animate anyone yet, so they're in real life. And uh, the person here today, he's a friend. He is a uh, person from, I guess, high school that I knew but didn't really know. And then jobs, life, circumstance. Life, life did happen. Yeah, life happens, and now we're here. So joining me today is the one and only, possibly, I haven't checked, Noah Asklar. I think I might be the hopefully the only. Are you the? You're a little quiet. Oh, sorry. I mean, just sorry. To, I just want to <laughs> hey, keep you. That's uh, just how I I was trying to you know. And, yeah. If, if do you want to actually? I'm still not used to this. What's up? You, you might be able to move the mic like, that way a little bit. That's way? No, like the stand itself. Like the I don't actual want the, physical. Yeah, stand. I don't want the bar in your face. So here. We're gonna cut this. So here, I was. Uh, I would move it more towards the PC. Oh, I'm sorry, my shoes are in the way. How's that? You think that's good? Honestly, that might be work. Yeah? That might work. Is that yeah. cool? Yeah. Right. I just... Hold on. If I go over there, will I be on screen or off screen? Uh, I think you can be as a... Uh, to that curtain. I don't think it's getting the other curtain in. I might take, like, an intermission. Yeah, that's fine. No, yeah, we're going to do a half... In a half hour. Oh, okay. If you want. Do you want water? Anything? Yeah, You're good? yeah, water would be cool. You do want water? Yeah. I was going to ask them. I was like, whatever. I'll just roll with them. I'm a no, trooper, but... We'll be right back. And we're back. What's going on, Noah? We've we've had some uh, technical changes, and uh, we made them. Well, hopefully I sound better. You you sound great. Cool. I think uh, you've had a day of work, so a little bit lower energy. Yeah, but... yeah. I'm usually pretty mild mm -hmm. anyways. I got also got that on the podcast for that. Some yeah. dude was like, uh, get some hustle energy. Like, shut right. up, bro. What do you want me to do, run laps and do push-ups? <laughs> like... You're referring to the podcast Two in the Cooler with Andrew and Matt Canada. Correct. That is a shout out the boys. Um, we uh, we've we've chatted. We know each other. So see we'll see what happens. I'm sure you'll see him scissor in the future. You know. But uh, you so you were in a you were in an episode of theirs. Yep. They are an also budding podcast as of late in the Buffalo area. What is uh what's your thoughts of the experience? How'd they treat you? Were you waterboarded or anything? I, I know uh, Ivy League waterboarded Mikey with uh, Mountain Dew. I saw that. Oh, Check really? Check those guys out. I've never seen that. Check it out on Instagram, Ivy League Collective. They waterboarded Mikey because it was funny. With Mountain Dew? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it, it was real, but that it was also Mountain Dew, controlled. Damn, that's a lot of Mountain Dew. They're looking waste. for the sponsorship, you know? Yeah, no, if that's someone's got to do it. Damn, that's smart. I got to start doing crazy shit with weird shit. Mm -hmm. That's, you got to go jackass. That's how they got, dude, the fat fucks. Just run around, pillows in your body, jumping into things. I need, like, some... I'm trying to think of what I can get to sponsor me, though. Oh, shit. Oh, you touching shit? Yeah, like, I give it a little... I didn't realize it was that close. <laughs> do you yeah. want to... There's, there's a button. These buttons do something. If you want to press one of the buttons, there'll be a sound I'm in the post. No, I'm scared. I don't want to. Well, there's applause. There's no. laughter. No, stop. There's, Anyways. like, a... Ba Answer the, the question. What? How how was their podcast? It was great. It was, okay, it was, good. It was fantastic, dude. I just nice. can't, their setup was so sick. Yeah, so I, sick. the new studio looks nice. It's so legit. They I'm got, just trying to get them more viewers. Yeah, man. They got not webcams, mm -hmm. so that's great. Mm -hmm. I know it's audio so was cool. good, but you audio know. was. I I was bad sometimes. Just like I wasn't staying too close. Like I said, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm new to this. So yeah, I had a pro like you guys. I was like staring at the camera. Yeah, we. I mean, you're used to. It. You're technically, I think we've both made money. From doing this so mm -hmm. i guess you can consider a pro but i mean i don't more know more than amateur more more than amateur less than a pro average straight middle um but you're uh other than that did you um did you i don't know the, the clips that you guys put out i feel like i've i've noticed those a lot and those are like really uh 
a good way to kind of get people in front of it. And, the thumbnails, man. Just go yeah. with the thumbnails. Dude, that's... And then it's consistency, too. Yeah. They post a lot. Dude, there's like that's 250 the way to do it. videos. And think, like mm-hmm. I said, they just literally need more um, viewers. Yeah. But it's like, it's about posting and yeah, all that. And but keeping it consistent. And yeah. like, even their old content was still better than most people's content. Right. Um, and... Yeah. You know, just even the audio that he had. Right. And then that's... And you you set up these like little like... I see the debates, you know, the blank versus blank. Mm-hmm, you get some people mm-hmm. talking, you know. It's good. I like it. But mm-hmm. I also wanted to talk to you about your stream because you game. You game hard. You fucking battle in the in the gulag, as well, Bobby well, Lee would luckily, say. luckily, so, like, the, you know, unemployment had me for a little bit feeling like, you know, like yeah. I was a real streamer, you know, getting paid weekly. Like, Hell yeah, dog. But it's not, it's, uh... I started streaming heavily in, like, December. I streamed 300 hours in December. 300 which, hours. It's a gross amount. I mean, it's amount, It's an investment, though. Because yeah, I like, mean, I also made that same amount of money, though. For, there you go. Just that month. But... You got a dollar, a dollar an hour. That's, but, like, I laugh when I think about it like that. Like, that was... It was, a, like... There yeah. was a 24-hour stream I did. There mm. was... And I averaged 12 viewers during that And you're telling thing. me you haven't done anything crazy on these streams? You haven't, like... I don't know gone to a wall you haven't like just taped your eyes i can't because you know you go clockwork orange you get like i those can't do anything things. crazy like at least in terms of, i gotta keep my volume down because like i moved back with my parents right so, like i can't do I feel anything that. honestly like literally my biggest factor right mm-hmm. now is securing an apartment i actually might get an apartment with lay or yeah mm. from um best buy that's cool layer um yeah Lair? yeah yeah oh, okay um either way I think I think because Le- Lay worked at Best Buy and Lair worked at Best Buy. Well, I just go off of Lay Moo because that's his all this shit. Right. But well, Chino, I would have used. Right. I could have just used Chino. The um, two my two subscribed streamers that I get notifications for because I'm a moderator. I think. Uh, other than that, I mean, I don't really join as often as others. Dude, there's. But, you know, I mean, even recently, I'm doing I, this. I didn't have my PC. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, was doing shit. People different. were like, "Yo, where have you been?" I'm like, "Dude, I was fucking doing shit." Like, yeah. I took two weeks off. Like, relax. Like, you ever take but, a vacation? They're uh, nice. Not fucking vacation. Well, especially if your PC is broken, that's not a great that vacation. That shit was annoying, bro. Yeah. That shit was so annoying. Uh-huh. We're fine. I don't really want to talk about it. It's like a dead relative. You don't like. I literally. You can, you revived them. Yeah, and upgraded them, but like I just mm. don't even want to relive. It was annoying two weeks. It was mm. frustrated. Frustration levels are an all time high. So like if if you're like if your stepbrother, like if if you you know, are, get a stepbrother at some point, <laughs> and you guys get real close, you guys best friends, and then he like, you guys are swimming in the ocean, right? Go to, to vacation. You guys taking a vacation. You go out to L.A. Maybe get sit by the beach, Santa yeah, Monica. Right in the ocean. You know, all the pier. Yeah. Chomp. His arm is gone. Your vacation ruined. You got to go to the emergency room. COVID's still a thing. So you got a shark bite in a COVID ward, and I don't even know how that goes. But my whole thing is that vacation ends with a robot arm. Good vacation or bad vacation? Good, because honestly, like, you got a story? Even as much as you work out with that arm, it'll never be stronger than a fucking robot arm. Exactly. And that's when I'm the more of the Everyone's wasting their time in the gym. Like yeah. just get both of your arms removed and just like Just amputate your arms. Dude, just become the first cyborg. Like yeah. someone has to like that yeah, the you comic already rings. exists. Like mm-hmm. it's it's already out there. Like someone's already like putting it in. Dude, reality. there's like seven year old cyborgs right now. Yeah, exactly. The, the seven Okay. If we think back to like our childhood fantasies of like what a cyborg could be, we're not giving it to these fucking kids. What are they gonna do with it? They got just just don't have a hand until you're an adult. Come on. I'm saying give the cybernetic enhancements to the people that can use them. And I'm just all I'm saying. I this is purely a comedic point that I'm making. I in no way connect to this actual belief. He was literally talking about this before we got on the Could podcast. Could be funny though. Anyways. I talk about a lot of things. It doesn't mean I mean it, you know. That, I feel that. I think that's you need to watch this Anyways. whole hour to really get the whole idea of who Comedic. i am what's your uh what's your take on 2020 i want to get that oh, let's get that out of the way weird it literally feels like a movie script like, it, does. it feels like whenever mm-hmm. it went by so fast uh, on top of that and i feel like i everyone says that every year and each year feels mm-hmm. like it's progressively speeding up which is stupid because time is which is that's how time works going that's how li- literally when you're like one year old six months was half of your life and now six months at 23 24 what are you gonna 
six months. Like, it's not that um, bad. But it was weird. It was like... Yeah. I felt like whenever anything would, like, settle, they were just like, ba, 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 ba. whatever is up there, they were like, all right, brainstorm something mm-hmm. weird. Like, we need something weird. Like, we gotta, we need something else to pop off. So like, let's... So I was expecting aliens. Like, I we was did. legitimately... We got aliens. Yes, but no. Are you talking we about got... the monolith or are you talking about them unveiling documents? No, I think the monolith, that seemed to be uh, an art installation. I think that probably... Cause, I there mean, was unusual things, though, like yeah. for the initial one. Mm-hmm. It was done because the the thing that made it that I instantly not instantly knew, mm-hmm. but it was cheap. It wasn't like right, but it they was used fucking. Uh, but it was tall. It was balsa wood. But they, it was tall. It was twelve feet long. Yep. And it was like someone had a, a tool that they used to dug out the ground, so it just like mm. placed in there perfectly. But like like a shovel. Them. Yeah, because I mean a lot of people haven't seen. No, 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 no. Like it's, <laughs> you just like. I'm not talking like no, I, precision I'm drilling. I'm saying like laser, like um, not like laser, but like saw. Like, alien. Um, alien. Saw. Ideally, but intergalactic aliens, aliens, saw. I also realized this during quarantine and mm-hmm. COVID though is that like aliens will never like will never need to like they can just come when we already like off ourselves. Like, yeah. They won't. What I realized also too what this why, why this just was, watch them like. I, I don't want to, like... Because you might be, like... <laughs> I too close? No, that's perfect. Okay. It's just, um, I don't want you to, like, shut talk the fuck over up. here. And I got people you. here in the oh, left yeah, ear. No. Like I said, I'm fucking... I got to direct this thing, too. Anyways, you're right. That's you know? Yeah, that's what Andrew was there for, mostly. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, Shout out. Anyways, um... Oh, I realized during COVID or quarantine that, like... Also, the government will never be like, yo, aliens are real. Because people right. can't handle it. Because... People couldn't handle, dude. People couldn't be told, "Yo, you gotta stay in your house for like two months, maybe, so people don't right. die." And they're like, "I can't, no. I can't take a picture of a restaurant, <laughs> like, well, of my food. Like, what are people are gonna think I don't do anything?" Like, it's that uh, the SpongeBob, the guy that smells, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. "That's like what they did when they heard the I news." I totally realized, yeah. like, one, well, aliens will never need to come here because they'll just like. Piss someone off and everyone will just mm-hmm. fight. Well, and also and if they two, show up, they're gonna be like, ah, yeah. What are they gonna? Nah, they're, they're blowing gonna be each like, other up. I'm gonna, yeah, we're just gonna observe. It'd be them. me like going to a cannibalistic village, observing mm-hmm. and being like, okay, like okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, just never gonna come back. Like yeah, I'm not gonna be <laughs> like, yo, so what do you guys do for fun? I'm just gonna peace out the yeah. other way. Like it's like you, you want to be a documentary crew. You want to like just observe the chaos and then. Bounce. But even still, but my whole purpose is... And honestly, but wouldn't my, that be my, what aliens my would whole want? Thing, my whole thing is... What, no, my thing is, what the fuck are they observe from us? Like, it's worthless. Information? Of what, Why how do we to observe not be, animals? No, I'm saying... Think of... Okay, I'm, think listen, of a, no, a no, guy no, no, in an you, ecosystem. You don't understand what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying if I'm an alien, right. from their perspective, it's like when an ad comes on. I don't fucking watch it. Right. I go do something else. Right. So if they showed up to our shithole planet right. and saw, like, what we do... But I feel all, they'd just be like, this is useless. Okay, two points. So aliens, if they showed up to our planet versus... Okay, so let's say aliens are on their cruise ship, whatever. They're like, not a cruise ship, but now I'm picturing an alien cruise ship, and I think that's hilarious. So, okay, let's say it's a cruise ship, and they're like docking to different planets, right? They got their, whatever, little moms and kids and fat dads. They're, they're a prototypical cruise ship. You stop at Venus, you stop at Jupiter. Oh, it's cool, it's big, there's a lot to do. It's like, there's some cool shit. But what is there to do? Just look at stuff? What are you going to look at? Just rocks? That's how, point. how long is that going to be That's good? Point. The cruise ship keeps going, hits Mars. There might be aliens there. That, that might be where the cruise ship comes from. All right. Who knows? But they stop at Earth, shit's popping here, dog. <laughs> sure That's, why do people go to New York? To see crime. Why would you go to Earth to see shit blow up? This is the movie planet. We are the planet where shit pops off, whether it's good or not, but it'd at least be entertaining. So I think you have to, in, in that sort of way of how a scientist would look at a monkey in a, a you know, yeah. thing full of monkeys. In a, That's a good point. And then they would be like, we, we, all right, that monkey went we down. We probably are entertaining. Right. Like, like I wouldn't be surprised if we're just puts all being like, like our... <laughs> The reality TV shows are right. just videos of us, and we just yeah. don't know. What if, so Joe Rogan, he pulls up those animals, those crazy animal videos all the time. Yeah. If we had crazy alien videos, <laughs> do you think he would even talk about animals? No. No. No, no way. No, no, he's no the way. He's the alien. Yeah. Honestly, Joe Rogan, 
Because he's Joe Rogan's the alien. He's a, he's an inside job. It's an inside job for sure. We don't have these. He had Bob Lazar on. He had all these people. He's like, what? Oh, it's a ship. <laughs> no, no. He ass. he flew it here. He's trying to get access back. Hundred yeah. percent. Why was he already a celebrity? True. Lizard, lizard, alien, shapeshifter. And he was cool when he had hair. Yeah. Like Joe Rogan's <laughs> never been not cool. He's always been. He's known what to do. That's the yes, thing. He's always yes. been on the like, right side. Like what does he know? I know. That's, like I need like Joe Rogan at fifteen. I need to see a picture. Dude, like no, the thing is, he probably I, never even had a pimple. I've heard too. He's probably so, like, yeah, it was moisturizing with elk has, meat at fifteen. <laughs> he has so. never been out of shape in his entire like from yeah. birth to where he is now. He has never been like chubby. Bad looking. No, and he's uh, that's and he's always been, been a thing. Even when he was when he was young with what hair, does that do ripped. to your brain? I I look like this. What do you? I someone can blow on me and I fall over. That's not. He's probably fine tuned. Like yeah. he can't outwit Joe or Rogan, dude. Have you like, seen him kick a bag? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna just. Cry. He showed up to a place where someone <laughs> called him out and choked out the dude. Yeah. Dude, Carlos Mencia, that whole thing where he got banned from the comedy store, that's baller move, dude. I don't even know what so, happened. So, Carlos Mencia was accused of stealing jokes, and he was. And he doesn't accept that he's done that in the right. past, which... Well, that's what people like that do. Scumbag. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit scumbag. A little bit, kind of, a lot. Whatever. I don't really want him on this podcast, so whatever. Um, but Joe Rogan, he was, like, in front of everyone. Like, no, you need to stop doing this. That's his bit. He said this, and then you said it, and then now you're trying to take credit for it, and you have all this money and power. And he's like, what are you fucking talking about, man? Are you fucking... Uh? And then at that, at that point, the comedy star got behind Carlos Mencia rather than Joe Rogan, so he was banned from the comedy store for, like, a couple of years. And then this whole, like, changing of the tides with the podcast and everything and settle things settle and whatever Carlos Mencia obviously isn't as prominent as he was so it's like that was that whole beef and it's like why would you even be on his side like I mean obviously if we're going with the Joe Rogan's an alien theme he just knew what to do mm-hmm. and like it, not you know what an alien has nothing to lose think about it. come on that's True. straight up like aliens here you ever seen Lucifer no, but I've I've heard of it. Pretty much, he's just bored in hell, so he comes mm-hmm. to Earth and he just starts playing against type of what he should be. So you're saying Joe Rogan is the devil now? No, just he's <laughs> he's just bored of wherever he's from. He's right. totally still an alien. No, around I, you, Joe Alex Rogan. Jones might be the devil, just sparking shit. I don't shit. know. I just only seen his clips from. See, he's like how I how I would. But like Earth a fun like alien. pokey guy. Yeah, but like he I might s- be a- no Alex Jones. I would say alien more than devil. I just don't see anything of him just because yeah. like in my free time I do. It's I'm never like <laughs> That's oh true. I'm not. If I see an Alex Jones clip, I'll watch a minute of it. I'm like, well, I was wasting my time it's, and I disappear from whatever. The that's thing is, related to him. if you're not looking at it comedically, yeah, or somewhat insightfully, because he was like Bohemian Grove, like you know that whole thing, and like Jeffrey Epstein, like he was like at the forefront of that like years ago. And so like he knew about it. Yeah. yeah, and he was like trying to tell everyone, but because he's that's this what crazy guy, for like eight years. Dude. That's what I'm yeah. saying. And it's like he was in that field doing these crazy conspiracy things, and then you just do one completely heinous thing. That I mean, I'm not saying he's whatever. I'm not absolving him of he any wrongdoing. Too much crazy shit. He just that you say one insanely outrageous thing. I this Tim Dillon made this point, so I'm just speaking off a podcast I've already listened to. He's stealing it. But, but that's He's the thing fucking is, stealing it. Alex Jones is not necessarily the. Think about it in the way of like a journalist. So a journalist, you have to write a story as long as you want to eat, basically. So you're just gonna keep writing stories, and then eventually you're gonna pull some crazy shit, and everyone's gonna just completely disavow you. That's basically what happened. I mean, in in a way of like, if you're already semi-conspiratory, and then you do this one crazy thing. You're pretty much just. What off. was the crazy thing? It was did. the the Sandy Hook that whole with the oh. kid. See, you know about that, right? That's they what everyone knows. Child actors. Yeah, that's um, the that was the that was the stamp that he got. I didn't know that was him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not, a little. It's not good. Yeah, it's definitely can't be not doing good. That. But when you're grasping for straws, yeah, I mean it's it's just in his line of work. He was bound to have something yeah, he like just that. Grabbed it. Yeah, he just pulled you know? it on the rock straw. And I'm not I'm not saying that it wasn't right or it was right, obviously, but you know. Connor agrees with him. Fuck. He was literally telling me for the podcast too. I, we we should have just turned these mics Anyways. on, man. I I censor myself, obviously. You can tell I think through what I say, right? Not really. Sometimes, but 
Uh, other than that, though, do you want to you want to go into a, we have a movie that we both watched. We have about ten minutes till a break, so well maybe le- maybe well, less, um, maybe more. Back to streaming. So like. The, oh yeah, do you want to? You can go streaming. The the one well this ties to that. The one day mm-hmm. I was on, I was just playing Apex because that's like the main game that I play on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of my um one of the female streamers that I've met, she came in and she saw I have like a. It's the Uma Thurman and Travolta um, dancing. It's just like a painting I have in the background. So we started talking about Tarantino, got into other movies, and mm. then it started going to gory shit and serial killer shit. Mm. And also, then, like, did she suggest? Yeah, yeah. But oh. then within like 15 minutes, I was just showing the house that Jack built, like mm. without warning, just on YouTube, on my stream. And lost like six viewers. But like, it's whatever. I didn't really, like I said, yeah. like I'm not... I'm not there to, like, hold everyone's hand and be like, hey, I'm your favorite family stream. Like, I'm going to show what I want to show. Mm-hmm. If I want to watch people dying at that time, you know, you might see a it's kid. It's not even real dying. You might see a kid get sniped in the field. Yeah. Dude, that scene, the, that the, whole, dude, the that movie, movie is the house that Jack built. It got progressively more and more twisted, and it started off fucked. That's, and, a, that's I think, the difference. And, like... I, I like how it's laid out. For it's his weird. The narration and everything. Yeah, and, and like going back and the forth. five moments, and then it's like him mm-hmm. talking to that dude the entire time. Mm-hmm. It's like Dead Devil, I believe. That's I mean, it's Don. Well, yeah, it's, Dante. Yeah, it's Dante's just, Inferno. It's, it's it goes in. It's, yeah, that's another thing too. Is like you can look at it for like what you physically see, mm-hmm. and then you can like go into what people take from it what they analyze and all the little easter eggs and references mm-hmm. that like i don't understand because well that I guy like, study it he's been he's, like he's, too, he's like a neo-nazi he's isn't? like uh that's like the whole thing against him that yeah. he's like doing this to be a provocateur like the whole point is to get a reaction out of people yeah, yeah and yeah. that's like which is why i kind of like that's why i like exactly, a movie yeah right. i don't want to watch like a, a that's movie why I like and i just fiction. sit there yeah exactly you gotta you gotta Push some, push some buttons. I like, that's why Pulp Fiction automatically is like my go-to, like, that movie is hilarious, it's terrifying, it's suspenseful, it's fun, like, I mean, it's just like when romantic. She does, just when she does this. I've yeah. never seen that for a movie of that time, you don't see it's that. It's so, it's just a strange concoction that makes your brain go, wait, what? Because I know like people see that and then like. Yeah. Uh, wait, I can't do that. Yeah. Like, why did? And it's also like she says square, but it's a rectangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that? What is the? What is that subtext? And then the briefcase. That whole people don't even. I there's a lot of times I'll be like, so what do you think was in there? And they'll be like, what briefcase? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, that's what. At oh, that so point, you don't watch movies when you at watch that them. point? That's when I ultimately decide if I carry on the conversation or if I just walk the other way. It yeah, depends on what what I what usually depends on what what environment i'm in you know right. what's infecting me but and that's the thing with ugh. people too is like your grandma if she didn't get it you wouldn't be like no fuck you grandma right. like no grandma she she doesn't need to it's she right, does she got other shit going yeah. on yeah but like if you're it. if you're my friend and you're like well i didn't get it i'm like well i don't know if i can talk to you about other things there's, there's so many people that or can't let me talk explain it to you movies, so i'll like, explain the shit out of it to yeah you. Exactly. i'm fucking that kid and that's you know but a lot but of we, people will just take it for like face value yeah of movies we should also annoying. go through what house of jack built is yeah because we didn't really more. so it's matt dylan he's a serial killer and it's Lars von trier good actor right? matt dylan fantastic okay that I'm movie is sure. so good i well and also well at least acting wise yeah and i just like matt dylan as like uh, he was in um I used a bunch of stuff, but I don't, I, not that I could recall from my brain right now, but, um, no, that movie, so it came out, I think when it came out in Sundance, I read, like, I looked up articles after I watched it, because, like, that's the kind of movie it is, where you're like, okay, what did other people think? <laughs> and you're like, oh, everyone hated it? Sounds about right. But th- I think that made, like, at least half of the audience just leave. Mm-hmm. Like, when the, the, the kid scene, like, they were just like, I'm out, I'm done. We're leaving. Dude, it's crazy. And then he poses everyone in the freezer. How about... Dude. I didn't even realize. So when I was going back... Real, that that back breaking that and scene, entering scene, too. Hold on. Back, that's... We'll get to that. Yeah. But, hold on. You need to finish what the movie's about, though. All right. Okay. So the movie's basically about Matt Dillon progressively becoming more and more insane as he's a recalling, serial killer. Pretty much he's recalling oh. five incidents in his life. 
Yeah. And that's the and story. And he's talking yeah. to some dude the entire time, and they're having an uh, they're having a narrative. Mm-hmm. And you don't really. He calls him a few times, and the the guy is against everything that he says. Mm-hmm. And Matt Dillon's character is very like convinced that his way of life and mm-hmm. his ideals are like fun, and that he's an artist, and that it's justified. And it's just the ends him, justify the means. Yeah, in a way, just, it's it's. There's a lot of things that relate back to like Dante's Inferno and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of like stuff I necessarily don't even understand. And I have, it's like, super deep stuff. It's super deep. It's very artsy. But like, if art you movie. don't want it, if you like, let's say that's just boring to you, and you all you're hearing right now is this. It's, it's very gruesome, and there's just five scenes of yeah. like some shit you probably haven't seen in other movies. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back to the field scene. Yeah. Dude, that I I kind of wanted to watch like parts of it again before this to like remember, but I was also like, I do I really want that in my head again? Like so, that's so what, close. When I, when I just was talking to you about yeah. the stream, that's what I just did recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize it's fun though. I mean, it's, it is. It's, but you're provoked. It's I was, you know? dude. I like. I had to like get <laughs> it's up. Not a real kid. I had to like well, get up and he didn't like, actually die. Like get some water in me, get some food, and like get it out of my head because it is intense. It, it's kind of how like Hereditary left me. Yeah. Um. That one well, scene. Honestly, I think Hereditary is slightly more tame, but it is still. I'm just talking about the telephone pole scene. Oh uh, yeah. That left me thinking about it for three days. Yeah. Um. And I haven't seen a scene like that in a while. Yeah. Um. Yes. And the build up for that was so good, dude. Dude, that movie. It, that Even movie's like the, classic the slight horror detail greatness. detail of the bong, because it just adds in that paranoia, and mm-hmm. he's actually in a life or death. It's not him mm-hmm. just overreacting. But anyway, back and to the also, scene. it's like, am I just freaking before out, or what's I, actually before happening? I just want to get this point yeah. out. I didn't know or remember that after that he makes them do the picnic. Yeah. No, so, it's, it's like, so like it's I a, just they it's I like just a screw kept doing that's in the your replay. skin, and he just turns. So I just it. kept doing the replay of the the headshot, which is fucked because it's super quick the leg blown off because yeah. it kind of looks bad it doesn't look realistic mm-hmm. because it's not right but like the and i don't know i've never personally shot a sniper rifle at a small boy's shin mm-hmm. so i don't know how his leg would react mm-hmm. um but that's a good way to put that but I like that as far as words go you picked the right the ones. picnic like i like forgot and i was like yeah. sitting there and the best is with streaming i can get my live reaction and I was like, dude, I forgot it was this bad. Mm-hmm. So breaking entering scene. Dude, that and that's the whole so that whole movie is like this guy you like you know something bad is gonna happen. He tells you in the beginning, I've done bad things. Yeah. And these things are what you're gonna see is the bad things that I've done. And after the first scene where it was just like, I'm gonna help this woman get to the to toe. And doesn't wanna help her. And no. And then she, she wants, like she's insists. like egging him on. Yeah. And then that only makes him wanna kill her more. And then that turns into like the whole but then you go into it like, okay, so he's gonna kill her and then every time she says anything and he does anything, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I, I was like, is and he it's gonna every just scene let her that go? does, yeah, every scene, which is why like I don't recommend Crazy. that movie to people. But if it you makes you have feel a heart something. Attack? It makes you feel something. Like it makes you feel like I can't. And back to the director, he wants, yeah, like what you're saying, like yeah. he wants you to. He doesn't want you to enjoy his films. He wants mm-hmm. you to leave disturbed. He doesn't want yeah. you like. He wants you to leave thinking, like, what did I just see? And, like, why? I've never seen anything like that. Stanley like, Kubrick. You yeah, do yeah, you yeah. Clockwork Orange. Dude, the first fucking 10 minutes, 15 minutes of that movie is terrifying. I've shown that. I've shown mm, that to people in college. You know what Corey Gatto is? Car- yeah, yep. Um, he made us turn it off within 10 minutes. And yeah. in the best is yeah. that scene. That whole scene is, no. Oh. So that song's ruined for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. But the best is, the, the funniest thing to when me When he hits is, him with the dick, that's great. Funniest thing to me though is is that the movie completely changes after that. Yeah. So if he would have lasted two minutes longer, mm-hmm. we would have finished the movie at that time. Mm-hmm. But he couldn't that's watch that. It, he lasted ten minutes, and well, that movie's and old. Yeah. I have, actually have the book at my house. Okay, I thought someone knocked. I'm sorry. You have the book at your house. We might cut. We might cut through that. <laughs> um, it, it's weird, dude. Dude, it's, that movie is like reading I mean, the book is painful. I don't think I'll ever finish it. I don't see that's the thing with reading too is it's such an active thing that you can't just like sit in front of a book and like let it hit you. But well, that's you don't, why I like movies. Is you don't, don't understand like, why though. What? What do because you mean? Because in the book they have their own language, or mm. like in the movie too. Right. But you have to read it, 
and mm. I I don't know what they're saying half the time. Mm-hmm. So like it'll be like a normal dialogue between you, and then it'll be like floppets, and mm. I don't know what floppets is, and it doesn't explain it. So I have to the the issue yeah. is I have to keep rereading things because I'm like, dude, I don't know what this is. The context, and then they're like, yeah. yo, let's go to the milk jungle bar, and I know what the milk bar is because I've seen the movie. Mm-hmm. But like they just throw it's just it's really weird. Dude. Mm-hmm. That's why it's not a fun read. Did you read uh, The Shining? I actually haven't. No, did you, and you've seen it, I assume. I've seen The Shining. Yeah. I haven't seen because I've heard Sleep. a lot of controversy. Have you seen Doctor Sleep? I have seen Doctor. Did you Sleep. like it? it? Is the pat you could pass? It's like it's visually cool in some parts. The acting is fine overall. You is and McGregor kind good? of like Easter eggish. The movie. Of? The movie was made because. The Shining did well, and this was going to do well. Right. That's and it was clear. That's kind of how it was clear in the movie. That that's kind of it. like how the last um, Friday the Thirteenth was mm-hmm. because Cal, my buddy Cal, showed he listens to a podcast that's strictly dudes who love all the Halloweens, mm-hmm. and they were like, "This movie made so much money," but they were like, "I don't really know what I was watching. It was mm-hmm. just a bunch of like homages or homages, homages pretty much, yeah, homages, um, homages and Easter eggs." And they were like, "It was." cool but like it didn't like the pacing was weird and mm-hmm. they were like i don't know what i'm watching yeah um and i enjoyed it but i don't know it from an analyst like they do you yeah know? well and it's gonna hit everyone differently i feel so depending on who you are and like what you actually like like it'll actually the, your experience will be different i was I feel actually like, waiting though sorry to cut you off but I, good. back to jack the house the mm-hmm. jack the house built the house the, the the jack house that's the actual the jack house that built jack the j- um, the jack off, I was actually, the jack so house that I built the saw, house code. i saw the trailer before it came out so yeah i, I did was, too i was waiting and it was the david bowie thing. Yes. it was that was fantastic and then um, i'm like this looks awesome and then terrible. i started looking into that lars dude because mm-hmm. he's controversial because mm-hmm. because he was banned from the sundance or not banned or his films were yeah um so least, and then i saw yeah. it came out and then i had mike show watch it too and he was like dude like that shit was crazy yeah. yeah 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 those that's one of those movies that isn't like a horror movie in the classic sense but it's one of the most terrifying things i've ever seen like it just like uh, at a human level of like this is a human that could be a human mm-hmm. and like i mean it probably isn't but, but the like, worst part is, is how well put together he is, and like the and fact even that you can just look, see him at a grocery store, yeah, and that's like the whole that's, thing. Dude, the the, and the thing is, is too like even if you don't enjoy that movie, mm-hmm. the attention to detail and Lars, the way he is, you, you can just, you just tell that he's a good, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I don't like, have to like, like fully enjoy the movie to respect. He could and totally like go out and make a feel good movie because mm-hmm. he's just that talented a filmmaker, but he doesn't mm-hmm. want to. Well, and that's, you could tell, and it's boring. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, if, it is. If you, bro, how about the yeah. scene, the breaking entering scene? How about how he takes away her? So also too is is he goes progressively through each story. Mm-hmm. He's like slowly losing control, mm-hmm. and he has crazy OCD. Like in this breaking entering scene, he goes, he's he's actually visual. He doesn't know if he's actually seeing blood, mm-hmm. or well, you don't know as the viewer if he's actually seeing it or if he's just fucking crazy. Because he's also doing medication too, I yep. believe. Like yeah, it's like a, um, it's very American Psycho. But pretty it's, much, yeah. he's also talking but to like, this. <laughs> yeah, way through the roof. <laughs> he's pretty much talking to to this Dante dude about how like life is pretty much enabled him to get away with these things too mm. so like even he with the first scene the even with the first scene yeah. this woman was like oh you look like a serial killer and yeah. they're out oh on a God. road and he has like Hope you don't a, kill and me. he's in a red van and he looks oh like God. he looks Those he glasses, literally has the glasses the John Wayne Gacy yeah, glasses yep. yep um so pretty much the one scene that Those really that really bugged <laughs> me too um was the so he 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 goes to this woman's house. He fumbles his way to somehow pretend that he he somehow gets his like way in there. Like an inspector of some kind. Yep. Um, and he like, life insurance. oh, dude. When he he originally starts as a cop, but he has no badge. And he's fumbling. And it makes me, it gives me anxiety, kind of how um, Uncut when Gems he, did. That's exactly. That's honestly, Uncut Gems was the most, like, <laughs> through the entire thing. And then when he just... You know, I'm not gonna spoil it, but anyways, um, back to the house that Jack built. With that whole scene, the fact that he the like phenomenal. stumbles, he the stumbles, phenomenal, and bro. he's like wrong, and you're like watching him figure this out. And it's like honestly, that movie. If we talk about wildlife mm-hmm. and like nature and stuff, yeah. that movie is like a nature documentary for yeah. fucking a serial killer. Yes, and like what would happen if that. Like, simulated. Obviously. He was... What's crazy, but too, is, like... Fucked. It was realistic, too, because there's people out there who can... We better there's salesmen, demonetize There's this. salesmen... There's salesmen that... 
that can go out and you know and sell anything Mormons. like that. Yeah, um, dude, Mormons might be serial killers. But back to that but scene, the way nice. it finishes, and, and we haven't even talked about how he he talks his way out of getting out of a cop after getting. And some people would be oh, like, oh, that's... like when he has the bag and stuff. Yeah, and the fact that he's there and she's missing. Um, and he was like, oh, I was actually waiting for her. So he, he somehow plays off that he was crazy or that he's, like, like frantic and frazzled because she's not there. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, what, what was cool to me is, like, it's realistic because – and I was I don't know why. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going to sound crazy to me. I don't know why. This is on my thought process to work. Um, something involving preface. cops. But um, – Ted Bundy, he had a victim return to him before that had broken free and mm-hmm. gone to the cops, and the cops literally returned this dude who had a, like, who eventually ended up getting killed. Like, anyways, back to what I was saying. So he talks his way out of the way, out of his way with the cop. Mm-hmm. Instead of putting the body in the van, he has the body tied up to a rope yeah. and just drives oh. off. Yeah. So now there's a few more things. I'm, there's two more things I'm going to bring up with that. A trail. So he, on top of the trail. Of fucking blood any directly single, to where you Any time a human body is at high speeds brought into pavement, it is like a cheese grater. Yeah. So, and they oh. show you the person's face, of course, too, because this movie is this right. movie. So, of course, they're going to show. Yeah. You can't even really tell it's a woman. If you don't like that dogs die in movies, yeah. don't watch this movie. If you, so, on top of yeah. her getting cheese grated if by John the Wick pavement. too much. Don't even... Where he started to where he ended, there's a trail, like a snail trail of blood. And so he's sitting there, he's freaking out, and he has this freezer, this apartment that he just takes all the bodies to. And there's a trail now directly to it. And he's like, think he's freaking out. He's he's OCD, he's freaking out. Like, how is he going to clean all this? It's miles. All of a sudden, it starts pouring rain. Pouring rain. I remember and that. He's yeah. just sitting there laughing his ass off, and mm-hmm. it just. And I think it's the second or third scene, and I was just like. Mm-hmm. And then at the point where like that's, the that, hardest that's thing crazy. is is like you have to be so intellectual to watch that movie. Yeah. Because I don't. I like. I've half-ass read Dante's Inferno. Mm-hmm. It probably follows it a lot. It does, but like I still understand. Mm-hmm. I don't understand Dante's Inferno fully yet. It's, it's a book you need yeah. to read like four times. Well, that's yeah. Um, and honestly, as far as the story that I know, it's just like from God of War, pretty much. Yeah. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's pretty much. You can pretty much play God of War. Yeah. Yeah. Don't read the book. It's boring. It's <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna do an advertisement for my products that I sell on Red Bubble. Red Bubble. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna stop down for a moment. Cut to that. They'll be here, and then you know, all that stuff. So, you want to send send us out? You could uh, you could do radio DJ. You could do um, you could be uh, an Eastern European like EDM guy, and be like, all right, we will be right back. Like you know, all right. You could do. I don't want to get. I don't want to get canceled. No, no, no. Eastern European. You could do Italian. I don't know, man. You're Italian. Or not my mood. Do it. Do it like a. Do do it. Apu got canceled, bro. That's well. That's Indian. You can't do Indian. You could do Eastern. You could do the white ones. That's the thing. Do we'll Italian. Be... <laughs> You're Italian. You could do Italian. Well, now it's too much pressure. Can no, I just, just do, do it a, naturally. Do a do a like a good fella. Like say Ed Raz, Robert De Niro. Like we'll be right back. Well, now I don't want to. Okay. Can I just do it normally? Do it too much you pressure. Want. Whatever. We'll be right back. Welcome to the advertising section of the podcast today. We are advertising the same thing. My store, the Redbubble store. You search Mink Plot, you see a bunch of designs, see a logo, see some dogs and stuff. Buy a shirt. Um, there's, or some, don't. there's some shirts. You could buy it or you could not buy it. You could look at it. You could you could take your computer as it's on the screen and like unplug it so that like it burns into the monitor if that's what you wanted to do. Could. But you know, just visit the site, see if something's for you. If you like it. Add it to cart, you know. Maybe uh, drop a little. I'll chin, be buying chin, some merch soon, so if you want to look yeah. cool, so yeah. So that's what I'll be doing. We are uh, soon enough, you know. Everyone's not on the train yet. Can't give merch out to everyone because not enough people share this podcast. But other than that, you should go to the store. That's all I really have to say. And I agree. Products are scrolling by. Is there anything else you have to say about it? His products are awesome. You heard it here first. My products beat others with the quality of them.
And we're back. We are back with the show. What's going on, Noah? How have you been? It's been uh, about 10 minutes since we've last been on podcast mode. I mean, you we know, did the ad. I'm still doing well. You're doing well? Yeah, That's not good. much has changed. Yeah. You got some water. Got some water. That's well, I'm good. pretty comfy over here. Nice. We got That's all, good mics. all the environment I want to give. But I think uh, we, uh, we talked about it a little bit. We had some more topics to bring up. And uh, we have a couple movies other than that. The, the House of Jack built because that's not the only one we've seen. Yeah, I also uh, even though it really seems recommend like it. it to most people to watch. I would, is, if you like twisted shit, go for it. If you wanna, what feel I feel something. Watch we it. didn't we didn't talk about, but if we're on the topic of feeling something while watching it, in and of itself, if you know what that is, by uh, that there's a I forgot his name, Dave Delgano mm-hmm. or something. Uh, well, it's basically like a show, like a perfor- like a live one man show performance, and it has like magic elements. Like it's like he's he has sleight of hand and does things with that. But it's like the story of his life up until that point, and then fuck. Is it a TV show? No, it's like a it's, it's a like a special. So it's oh, like a comedy special. special. Okay. But then he like gets the audience involved, dude. It's the craziest shit really? I've ever seen. He he basically uh, has everyone. Like fill out these or take a card in the beginning, and then some shit happens where I don't want to spoil it, but he goes into the story of his life and then how he became who he is, and then there's this big trick where I'm not gonna spoil it, but you should watch it because it just came out. It's on uh, Hulu, and uh, I that shit I watched it before bed. Not a good idea. Like if that it was like very like strong, powerful, like like he has. There's like it's like him and his mom, and then he she's not the typical mom, so she's you know a hooker. it's a hard life. No, she's much more re- respected in society than that, especially now. Can you guess what she is? A cop. No, no, it's disrespect. <laughs> Wait, you, have you been paying attention? This I did also want to talk. This guy is not getting humor. Wall Street. <laughs> yeah. What's going? On? You you did mention that. I mean, I don't want to completely. Oh, GameStop. Yeah. Blow past what I just brought up. Fuck the suits. It's awesome. It's yeah. so fucking funny. Every yeah, day dude. I wake up, I check around it, and I fucking laugh. Mm-hmm. It has been going down, though, right? Uh, like, it's people... So, Robin Hood... I haven't checked the last couple of days. As of right now, you cannot buy GameStop and Nokia and, what is it, AMC I don't on know Robin if, Hood? I don't know if that's still a thing. And, but if it's on, like, on Robin Hood specifically? Because that's the only, like... All I know is that Robin Hood, once this whole deal goes away, mm-hmm. like Robin Hood's gonna be fucked. No yeah. one's the worst part Honestly. is is that they're all bailing each other out with mm-hmm. billions of dollars yeah. at like three AM and shit. Oh, they're no, it's who are you, who are your friends? Are your friends millionaires? No. Nope. No, millionaires hang out with other millionaires. True. Because they get Pieces it. Of shit. Yeah. And it's honestly it's if you hang out with millionaires all the time, you and you guys don't do anything for anyone else, yeah. you're, fuck, you're fucking dick. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. If you're not like... Dude, you know what I saw? This may just be a thing that for like public perception, but I honestly think he's probably a good guy. Brad Pitt. He was helping fucking bring food to people during the whole pandemic thing. I seen him in the back of trucks. So like like stuff like that. Like you get like points yeah. for... for Charity. Ryan Reynolds, Ashton Kutcher, Ryan, yeah. they do good shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Ashton Kutcher's like all in that. Uh, yeah, I don't the know why stuff. people the Epstein like, stuff. Yeah, I don't know why people um, like glor like glorify a lot of these shitty people. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they're some all of them are actually good. Yeah, but like I don't know. This is just me, but mm-hmm. like I don't like. I look into people that I, like, actually, like, like I'm not going to go out and buy an Ariana Grande shirt without, like, investigating mm-hmm. or, like, doing research on it, because... Also, the I way mean, she did Mac Miller, no, 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 no more. She's just piece no of more. shit. No, just, no, just, no, there's, like, literally, she had a life that's... coach that quit. How do you make a life <laughs> coach that? Like, that's literally because you're, you're just a, a little... Lot. Yeah, you're just, you're literally, you think you're in a princess fairy yeah. tale world. You mm-hmm. don't, you're not, you're in a bubble. You're not in actual reality. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch the uh, Victorious? Yeah, she was great. In that. Yeah, I liked her. Up she was until, funny, and then and then she just became what she became. Mm-hmm. Like, because I originally didn't uh, like um, Miley Cyrus, but now mm-hmm. then uh, the Joe Rogan podcast, like mm-hmm. shit like that, like Joe, Miley Cyrus is awesome. Like she she's like, cool. 
She doesn't give a fuck about being mm-hmm. herself. She's not going to just be like a puppet for a Disney mm-hmm. Channel show like that. Right. She just did what she wanted. She's fucking unreal at singing. Mm-hmm. Um, cool ass person. Yeah. Um, She's definitely saying a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, like a overworked friend, I, almost. Because like her voice is fucking. I have leather. a friend actually that like knows um, the, it's the, either the sister or the brother, whoever Noah Cyrus is. Like they mm. like smoke weed with them. And Shit. Stuff. And they're That's just like wild. normal ass people. Yeah. I mean, that's dude, Billy Ray. Billy Ray topped the charts in 2019 with that uh, little, little, Nas. Uh, yeah, little Nas. Dude, Lil Nas likes... got boobs now. No, he just bought boobs. He's got boobs. Yeah, he bought. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're real, but yeah, I think he like bought prosthetic boobs. And he just like put them on. Yeah, and he posted on Twitter. So he take them off though. He could. I think he generally has them off, but I mean, if you had a pair of boobs, you know, would you would you use them? It's on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, it's it's funny. It is funny. Well, I'm interested in what it looks like. Yeah. Well, Should he I do the live feed. So he, if you want, you could yeah, pull it it's out. Probably gonna be really no, you you I'll find. talk. I'll talk through it. So what I know is that uh, Lil Nas X bought a pair of titties, and he posted a picture of them a couple of days ago. I think the Super Bowl was yesterday. I think uh, yesterday he did tweet something about, I don't know about the Super Bowl, or he's like. I'm I'm not really worried about the Super Bowl. I'm worried about where I'm gonna find a bra for these big ass titties. I think that he did post something about that, and I'm like, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's literally what he said. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. And it's so if you uh, do you have a live reaction? Mm-hmm. Did you see? You can switch to media, maybe. Mommy milkers. Mommy milkers. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> so at this point, I'm gonna just fill this dead air as you. You know, what? just are introduced. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, just music. Pause. Or Sorry. volume. I just don't want to get copyright. Dude, what? Yeah, he got them titties, dude. Wait, hold on. Sorry. They look real. I'm pretty sure they're not real, though. I don't know. What do you think? How, dude, what's why your... are they so big? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> what do you... Uh... How do you just buy those? Are you rich, man? Like, you think you got surgery or those are just removable? Like, are those deep? Dude, those are not just, like... That's why I was so... Much, those are... Yeah, man. But, like, I don't know. I if... respect it, dude. If you want titties, I don't think anyone should be able to take that away from you. I think if... Whatever you want to do in life, other than, like, murder people, as the House of Jack built has taught us, that's bad. Yeah. But if you want titties... Just get some titties. If you're yeah, rich like, and want titties, just, go for it. I just never... <laughs> I just don't know what I just saw. Like, like, I'm all for, like, if you want to just go get buy titties, like, go do it. Like, that's... Yeah, like you're saying, like... Yeah. That's just, like, a lot. Yeah, man. Dude, that's well, why also, I wanted... this is a good... How about Lil Uzi? <laughs> well, what? Lil Uzi. Lil, what happened with him? Did, like, something or recently? Not, is it Lil Uzi? I think it's Lil... You didn't hear what happened? No. Who? Are you on Twitter? No, I didn't go on today, really. Or yesterday. What? I don't know. What? He give me the news. A, <laughs> he put a, a $24 million um, crystal into his forehead. And it's just there now? It's just like... And it's stuck? Well, the best is... But yes. But the best is... I don't get piercings, man. I'm just, it's not... It's like implanted. No, I know, but that's like... I don't like get there's piercings and there's implants. Like, but, implants. But what 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 came out recently? Mm-hmm. Uh, movie-wise? Uh, TV show. TV shows. It's new. It's crazy. It starts uh, with W. Queen's Gambit? It starts with W. Wonder Woman. Your clothes. Wonder. W-A. Wet. Your clothes. Way, whales. Wanda. And, whales and water. Oh, yeah, Wanda. Um, WandaVision? Who is she is married that what that to is? or who is she with? Vision. Vision. What does he have in his fucking forehead? Oh, so, so I'm bringing back to Twitter. So everyone's yeah. doing the Thanos, and they're putting little Uzi Vert on there. And I don't know. It's just my third day out here. I don't even know, just, dude. I don't know why he did it. That's a that's a choice. Well, hey man, we're talking about it. He's he literally just got plugged on this podcast. The best is literally everyone going me when I see little Uzi without security. It's just the Thanos picture, bro. It's just yeah, man. The, uh, Dude, I mean, and and that's the thing with, I feel like, entertainers. Like, their job is to entertain. 
And that, yeah. if by God that is not entertaining, I don't know what is. Just it's different. It's a it's entertaining in the way a car accident is entertaining. Mm-hmm. And you're like, even if it's like I'm they hop the curb, look. like if they hop the curb and then they're back, you're like, oh shit. And then you gotta like tell someone about that. Be like, see that guy, dude. Um, yeah. On the the. Accident this is why we need to start. Buy, I've seen that problems. <laughs> yeah. No, over by Best Buy, I've seen that. Yeah. Like, on the exit, someone just went straight, and I was like. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm oh, turning. Yeah. Like, I'm on the curb. And I'm like, hey, yo, mm-hmm. that dude is... <laughs> dude, the Best Buy parking lot might as well be the beaches of Normandy. I swear to God, there is no car that will have any respect for you. I mean, we had an employee Never. hit there. Yeah. Every time. Ta- yeah. John. Yeah. Doing I did a street. podcast with him. That was, that was fucking insane. And like... Dude just took a hit by a car. And he's just like, I'm good. He's like, yo, I'm on break. Got hit by a car. <laughs> Shout out John Apple. We're rooting for you. I mean, he's better now. I don't think it actually really did much. Man versus car. Man versus car. John would fuck up a car rematch. I think he would. I he's, think he's the new So this, uh, what is this, Saturday, MMA? We could we could uh, call up Dana. Get Joe, we were talking about Joe Rogan. So I'll post the clip. Joe Rogan will find it. And then I'll like message him after he's like, yo, I love the podcast. Because obviously. And then I'll message him and be like, yo, my buddy, we could use some hookups. He kind of wants to rematch this car, and you got MMA deal. Call Dana, let him know, and then we'll get man versus car round two. I think it's going to go differently. What are your bets? Uh, I think I don't think he can be taken down by a car. No, I. It's I don't proven. even think he fell. I think he just you know. I think he, a side he just rolled off of it and yeah. just did an ollie midair and just kept going. And he did one of those. Yeah. You know, it's like what the. He just skate off in the distance. Yeah. And then you're just like, well, I mean, whatever. I wasn't pissed. Dude. Yeah, I don't dude. Know how he wasn't pissed. I would literally toss my skateboard at that woman, like literally at the car. Like, yeah. if someone hits you with the car, I feel like you, can you just have the hit right their windshield. Like, it's yeah, eye for an eye at that point. Like, I mean, it's a car your, too. You're it's not, not even using your windshield anyway. Yeah. It's like, see, I, if someone hits me with their car, I better at least break something on their car because then they'll have to pay for it yeah. and it'd give me money. Because mm-hmm. if it's visible evidence, I'm sorry, sir. But you're going to give me I'll some money. i a fat-ass bruise. I don't give a shit. Yeah, dog. Actually, I, yeah, I'll, I'll do some fucking... I don't give a shit. I, I, I need money. I, uh... What was it? <laughs> I need money. Isn't that a sad that that's where we're at as a society? It's I always it's been for, I've like, always, years. Well, like, college tuition. Like, there's always that joke that, like, oh, if I only I could get hit by a car, then I could pay my college debt. I'm permanently pissed yeah. at, like, people who are, like, 60 to 80 for allowing society to become what it has. Oh, 100%. Just, like, now I'm stuck here and they're just angry and racist and pissed off and I just have to deal with it. And they're in control, too. They're the ones that get to decide things because they've gotten to that age. And they're like, well, like, we're hearing you. We hear what you're saying, My but also fuck off. My favorite part about the adult world is where, like, someone who's older than you will, like, blame you for being your age. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're 23? What an idiot. Like, <laughs> I'm 58. Like, <laughs> Well, it's the kids It's the kids these days argument. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? But okay, the thing bro, is, too. you can't walk. I can. Like, what do you want from, like... Nice, dude. I can sprint. Yeah. Like, you can't jump. <laughs> yeah, no. That's... I And that's... Uh, I, I looked yesterday on Twitter. I mean, flying in the face of what I just said. Because it was a Super Bowl. People were tweeting about the Super Bowl. Shut up. That was... Uh, I mean, I as a Buffalo fan, who gives a fuck? But the we- halftime performance... Uh, I didn't see it. The weekend? You didn't watch it? I didn't watch Super Bowl. I streamed. Oh, right. I streamed for 16 hours. Just, oh, man. that's I don't, true. I don't give a shit about it. Yeah, man. I'm, if the best way, I think, to experience that would have been just on mute. Because, mm-hmm. like, against the Bills, I mm-hmm. obviously I did watch it on mute. Obviously, Except yeah, That was smart because yeah. that's how I play NHL. Because I don't like listening to the announcers. They genuinely make... They say the They're corniest so things. They're so fast, too. They're, but like, too fast. The things with... Um, with the Chiefs is I get Mahomes is good. I get Kelsey's. Good. I get the Chiefs mm-hmm. are good, right? I get it. We they lost their, their tackles. I think that's it, the, probably not, the biggest thing. No one was like surprised to hear the Chiefs were good. I don't need to hear about it every single play. Right, right. About how good they are. Yeah. 
and it well, they're the new they're me. the new uh, Seahawks. Like they did that yeah, with the Seahawks yeah, when that did, happened. Yeah, they're like, the oh, look at Russell Wilson. Yeah, He's got yo. Legion of Boom. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. dude. And it's Legion honest, of Boom was cool. They were cool. No, I liked. I honestly did like that Seattle team. Dude, Marshawn Lynch. You can't. And I can't blame. You can't deny that whole Marshawn Lynch. I don't Lynch blame era. Mahomes because he's not talking about himself. I blame mm-hmm. the media. Right. It's like with OnlyFans. I don't blame the people who mm-hmm. the creators. I blame the people who subscribe. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry if you do OnlyFans. Show your titties. I don't care. Hell yeah, dog. Um, Lil Nas, do your OnlyFans. Yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> make your money. I would do the same thing if I could. Exactly. Um, well, that's we're streaming. I think streaming is like the man, the man OnlyFans option. In a way, streamers, bro. Pretty. Um, you know. Well, can you do people stream with their shirts off? You can't. No, that's because that's why Red BA got off Twitch. Uh was it his shirt off? Well, because he would always. Strip I know down. his underwear. Like well, like when you take your pants off. I mean, that's you can't do. You can't. I mean, like no nipple, go, no man nipple. You can go shirtless now. I realize. Like I don't think you can just like because like Nick Merckx, he, he does like COD and mm. um, Fortnite, and he has like I'm thinking about, like eye candy factor. You listen, know what I mean? Listen, listen. He I'm has, gonna, like you cut me off a couple times. I get some. Fair, but <laughs> if I get off track, I completely lose it. I get that. He has been doing men's health mm. um, streams. But like shirtless and working out in the mm-hmm. gym at like this team that he's on. Right. But I didn't know you could do that because mm-hmm. I like. Well, that's specifically fitness. I mean, I don't think funk is a reason that you can take your shirt. But like, but I like, also you're didn't out, think that you I'm could. Getting funky. Oh yeah, maybe don't do that on our platform. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But the thing is, like, he always had a robe on, so like, whatever. No, I'm. Um, I am fully in support of Mark. He's, I also didn't think that you. Do could, you want to come like, on the podcast, puke Mark? On stream, but like, oh, you. But someone did that recently, and they. But they the didn't thing get, is, well, it's incidental. I feel like. But the thing is too is what are you like, gonna quick turn it off? Like a off. lot of even big name streamers, everyone hates Twitch because yeah. they don't manage it well. Because yeah. like, well, it's YouTube. It's the same thing. Well, the thing is that there's like they protect a lot of like weird dudes on Twitch, and mm-hmm. some of the weird dudes work for Twitch. So there's uh, like female streamers who get away from things. There's bigger streamers who get away from things. Right. And then there's also on the same aspect bigger streamers who don't get away with things, and there's things that I can get away with because no one, not enough people watch me. Right. Um, well, like, and that's like, like copyright. Like yeah, exactly. Music. Yeah, but that's like with YouTube is that was everyone's problem with the uh, the copyright scenario where like they would straight up take your entire audio or take the entire video down or do like something basically irredeemable. Like you did this, you're fucked. You basically can't talk to YouTube because you have 20 subscribers. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when especially big name people have that happen to them. That is the only way that like something something shakes. Like you have to cause like an earthquake to just like get them even listening. And then they still don't even listen because people are like subscriptions still probably don't show up in people's boxes. Like it's it's certain things. Oh but, yeah, dude. Twitch, I mean, is, Twitch also, itself is not good. Dude, you they had a day where it, it just died the other day, and mm-hmm. literally my Twitch feed or my Twitter feed was mm-hmm. everyone because because Twitch is owned by Amazon. Mm-hmm. Amazon has like oh, right. the most money. Mm-hmm. the most and like it's not straight well, it's liquid shot. and that's the thing too so you can't really say so you can say either two things you can say that twitch and youtube have such a broad audience they have such a big platform that it's hard and all, damn near impossible to manage that many accounts that many videos it's, and whatever yeah. or you can say that because they have so much money so much power so much like they basically control the most of america's gdp at this point Mm -hmm. if you have that level of wealth flowing through your business and it can't fucking do its job people are gonna be mad so i think with i think it's it's kind of tied because i feel like you because it's youtube is is crazy is the 25th biggest website in the world Mm -hmm. you just probably number one number two yeah it's gotta it's gotta be top five yeah Um, for sure so i don't really even blame youtube and i think they do a decent job with it Mm -hmm. um a lot of it is demonetizing which is the problem but right, that's why right. people get like uh, Patreon or you right. know, everything else. Um, Don't you know? But with Twitch, um, hand and mouth. With the, like, sorry, <laughs> but with Twitch, you're just I don't like know literally saw, like going like that. I don't know if you saw recently what the, the words they banned. No, like text, or like you so can't like, say them. I can't say them. So that's the like, streamer N word. Okay, is it N word? So the they better have, if anything. This is gonna sound weird, and I gotta. So I'm ready. that just got banned. Oh, that's good. But PewDiePie could have, you know. 
or no. just got banned though. Yeah. So I'm saying like a month and a half ago. Yeah. So the f- the word that should have been, which is notorious, the one that I first which is thought of. which is notorious in the gaming community for little ass kids yep. to say it, just for the purpose to get reactions, yep. not because they just little ass kids just. Their kid, their parents are, are away. Gonna, are you, yeah, are you, just, like, are you gonna? No. Imi- um, I was just trying <laughs> was to get my. There. No, I was trying to get my <laughs> voice high. Like they just literally get away from their parents, so they yeah. get on the mic and they yep. want reactions. Well, their parents that are. That should be the first word that the was parents banned. Parents are drunk, so it doesn't of, matter. That should have been the first word banned off of any site, yeah. but Twitch especially. Yeah. But the words that they banned recently, and this goes back to what I was just saying about them trying to protect certain people, mm. is they banned three. The word three. No, 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 three huh. words. Okay. Simp. Sit. Listen. They inc- banned them. Incel. And the third, which I'm most pissed about, is virgin. What? Yep. I, myself, as a streamer, people that I'm playing with, um, in that, like, in my party and stuff or my Discord mm-hmm. can say it freely. People in my chat can say it freely. Um, because everything in my chat is controlled by what I block. So mm-hmm. I had to go in there and type in all the bad words and say, <laughs> like, the bad words. Like, yeah. Um, and they're like, these are bad, bad. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, that was a little, that was your house at Jack Built moment where you're like, I got to run through the fire. Really like, I quick. probably, like, see, if I was a bigger ah, streamer, if I, got in a bit, if I was a bigger <laughs> streamer, I could have gotten in trouble for that. Because, like, I don't think my, my channel says 18 up. And that is definitely an 18 up, I think. I think that would be considered. Isn't it really weird though that you can't hear swears until like the clock hits twelve and you're eighteen? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, fucking exactly. stupid. Like, that's some dumb shit. You, when you mature to the point where you can just finally see blood and gore. Yeah. Like I hate. Yeah, it's like you just love it. once you reach that certain level. Mm-hmm. You know where where science and medicine has determined. Oh yeah, now you can handle that because at fourteen you couldn't handle that. Right, and it's also like there are kids that have like started smoking at like. 15 there's kids who make apps right now like Dude, mobile apps <laughs> that was a, that's a much different kid than the one yeah. that i was talking about right right I mean, right, but, right yeah right. no i but like with youtube with i'm Becky, fully YouTube, envious youtube's crazy bro. dude you can do everything on youtube you can never go to school again and just 100%. have access to youtube the problem is though is that the the filter the filtering system and the promotion system are e- not easily but they are hackable and like it's like the the people the people that want to f- get views will find a way to get those views whether that content is good or not yeah. and that content will be the one that I see first so if the not as good or not as interesting thing I have to walk watch through um, I didn't turn that off I know no I'm sorry I'm using to fix my hair yeah it's all good I is mean okay hey, yeah it is it's basically a mirror at this point we have a monitor everyone just so you know uh, we're also over an hour technically we have been talking. Plus advertisement time. So, what uh, what do you wanna you wanna end on? Um, do you I wanna had... do do you, you don't? Okay, so have you elected not to do? Cops are scary. Nah, cops are scary. Okay, cops are scary though. Cops are scary. I, I wouldn't say all cops are bad. All cops are scary. That's why I have Most this segment. Most scary. Mo- well, no, all all inherently are scary because of the uniform. Like the same way a prisoner would be scary. Yeah. A cop is scary. A prisoner that like looks like me well, probably wouldn't be me scared. About that. I was like, like we, I, you shouldn't think that though. No, but, but it's it that's happens, just the human uh, brain. The first time I got pulled over was scary, but Terrifying. it was stupid. It was just like I don't even want to get. I I don't. I you don't were know, like good, you t- dipped your toe in that. I yeah, but you, like it's not a good story. But, like I have good ones. Like I don't want to. Yeah. No, I fully understand. I'll tell you what though. I always wanted to. This is so, so stupid of me. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to just like. Not push a cop, but, like, do something so where a cop will have to chase me. Right. And the whole purpose of it is not so... Steal a cop car. The whole purpose... Well, no, CC. The whole purpose (laughs) is just... I just want to outrun a cop. Like, I don't... Oh, right. There's no... Like a run. Like, yeah, like, I don't... It could be, like, Mm -hmm. stealing a pack of gum. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to go to jail or get in trouble. Right. But I want to place him in a scenario... In a a test scenario Mm -hmm. where I'm getting him in his full effort... And I and I think it's a, like I want the, the the real car chase experience. Super bad. That's yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you want a yeah. Bill Hader cop? You want yeah. to run? You want a Michael Sarah Bill Hader? Just because my thing is it's like you see most <laughs> just cops, running into the night. I see most cops. I'm like, dude, if you didn't have a gun, I don't feel any safe with you yeah. next. I'm, if no. anything, I'm using you as a shield, pot belly guy. Like <laughs> yeah, like that's pot what belly you, what pot belly guy pig pot belly pig. Fuck the fuck the no, they're fine. Some of them are fine. All right. 
I think uh, so I think I, so, the so I feel about cops the way that Trump feels about Mexicans <laughs> is that like there's rapists, there's murderers, there's killers, but some I assume are good people. So I, I think I, you know. I would hope that the people who enforce the rules, you know, there are a few good ones. Right, but you know, it's daddy. That's your this is your dad. I'm your dad. That's the dominance thing, you know. We're just we're just fucking wolves that can speak and make buildings. That's really Being it. Alive is weird. It's super weird, dude. I get into uh, some moments where it's I'm just like, "What? Shit, dude. Hey, man, Did you? I I asked you if you wanted to come here, but no, I'm yeah, I didn't ask you if you wanted to come into this world. Yeah, I'm just you know what I mean. I That's, enjoy being here, dude. I think about that all the time. Where I'm like, everyone in existence, just like one day, just started being a person. And then they're like, at one point, we're like, oh, shit. Like, they're, they're, I'm a guy. That's why I think it's crazy when people are like, oh, I think video games are stupid. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, we're literally living in a... We're, we are Sims. We're doing this. Like, yeah, like yeah. the Sims is literally a copy of the simulation we're in. That's why, honestly, I think I like movies so much. Is mm-hmm. I see movies as basically like a parallel to life. As like, it's it's basically an example of humanity. Yeah, and like oh how God, humanity yeah. works. So I mean, movies are so crazy. Well, and man. that's like with aliens. Like, okay, so we, we can end on this. Yeah. I think that's a good. This is a good final. Do you want to do any impressions? That's the other thing I do. I can. I can no, but I'm going to take this time to. Um, you should watch 2001: A Space Odyssey. Right. You should watch Predatory. Yeah, give you me like your a thriller top five. Um, recommendations. You should watch Parasite. Parasite. Um, we didn't even talk about that on here. You should watch Parasite. It was like the movie, foreign film movie of the year, or whatever. It was the best picture. Uh, best picture. It was. And also, if best you haven't foreign seen film, it, obviously. if you haven't seen it, you're just dumb. It's, I don't even care if you're. Yeah, if, if you're subtitles stupid. stop you from watching a I mean, you creative read. genius, you just do its don't work. Don't say that you don't like subtitles. Say, hey, I can't read well. Yeah, say just, just I'm tell illiterate. Me. Um, just admit that you're actually dumb. Um, Jackie Brown. Everyone should yeah. watch that. That's yep. a great female lead. Yep. It's, I don't like the. I do like the movie. Robert De Niro in that movie is awesome. Fantastic. Lewis, like, shut the fuck up. She's just fucking. Talking I watched it literally talking. for that movie Dude. or for that for that scene. She's like, fuck um, up. Yeah, what else? There's one more. Uh, you should watch the boys. The boys, the Watchmen. Watchmen. Um, I actually bought Chernobyl and They Live. They Live, the 4K collection. Chernobyl, 4K um, edition just like came the out. The documentary the series. The miniseries. That's it. That was watch Chernobyl. 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 If you haven't, that do you want to see? So uh, do you want to? Well, I'll show you after. Um, one more. I need one more. There's one more. Just give me a watch. give me a love love movie. Um, I don't know if this in it worked, but Moonlight. Okay. I mean, it's yeah, it's dude love. But yeah. I'll tell you one movie I want to see, though. What's that? Is, this is what I'm going to end it on for hmm. my impressions. Okay. Which are not impressions. They're just movies. Okay. Uh, I want to see uh, the, all the small things or the little things. With, what is that? Um, it's with... Uh, Free, not Freeman. I think it's Freeman. It's Freeman. Um, Morgan Freeman? Um... Remy whatever, um, oh, Remy Malik, yeah. right? That's his name. And then Jared Leto. Mm-hmm. Um, I did see a poster for that. Uh, it's about, like a, I think it's Serial Killer. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to my, if you haven't seen it, watch Zodiac and watch Seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. Those are probably, uh, wait, I, I don't think I watched uh, Zodiac until I was like, 21 oh i was like, gonna say you haven't seen it i no. only saw it within the past two years i saw it like i think two years ago is like when i watched i've been it trying to go year. through all of fincher stuff mm-hmm. um, i did that with the coen brothers i, I watched seen... earlier ones i need oh, yeah. your list of them because i coen brothers yeah um i mean i'll tell you okay when we're off cam i need uh, yeah because i still have my personal list at home is made Which all of blood his simple suggestions. is fantastic I've never heard of that. Blood Simple is their first movie that they made. Like it's like independent. It's like it's good for what they had. They knocked it out of the park. But it was what it was. Like it wasn't amazing. But characters are still like Coen Brothers characters. So it's like you kind of see the the seed. And it's Frances McDormand. She's in it. So that's like where everything comes from, basically. So good movie. Really you know good. What else I saw recently? There will be blood. Ooh yeah, Daniel Day Lewis is the Dude, actor. That was Daniel really Day cool. Lewis, that Paul Dano. Who did? Who's the director of that? Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Okay. Yeah, that he's dude, that all cool of his too. movies. I know that name. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Boogie Nights. You got. I've seen Boogie Nights. And Hair Vice is cool. Boogie Nights is awesome. And Hair Vice. It was, it was different though. It was, dude. All of his movies are like his movies. I would say Paul Thomas Anderson and like David Fincher are very similar in like the way they make a movie, 
but they make them about very different things. Mm -hmm. I think that's, you know. And then he did, like, Phantom Thread and all that. I never watched that. I haven't seen that. You've seen Fear and Loathing? Fear and Loathing, obviously. I've, dude, whenever. Come on. I only, I've never fully seen it. I always make it, like, 75% and never finish it. Okay, well. I've always been in weird scenarios where I'm oddly tired. I usually don't get tired from movies. The last half is kind of the crazy one. Like, the first half is, like, the fun part of the movie. Yeah. And then I honestly see that movie as, like, what it's like to do, like, psychedelic. Like, that I really want to... What's it's a also trip. holding me too back is I want to sit down and really... All the times I've watched it, it's been with someone else. And mm-hmm. I want to sit down and experience that myself. Yeah. Oh, like, it's, like dude, we were talking about. Johnny movie, Depp, fantastic. Yeah, I love Johnny Depp. Absolutely amazing. Johnny Depp and Ryan Gosling, I like a lot. Yeah, dude. Right, anything Ryan Gosling's in, you pretty much... You La La Land... Dude. I actually haven't seen that yet. You, I know, I know. If you want a romance movie and you like Ryan Gosling, you like Emma Stone? Yeah, Emma Stone. Do you like Stone. movies? Yeah, I, you, I guess I've watched like one or two. Like a movie, like the movie world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like musicals at all? All right. Okay, you'll like, you'll like the movie. If you're fine with musicals, it's a good movie. But if you like hate musicals, it'll turn you off. But the, the movie, the There's story. There's like some that I, I saved. I like, for sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like about artists, so you know, it's yeah. I've been putting that was like like Moonlight. I was putting off for a while mm-hmm. just because like I knew what it was about. I knew it was really good, mm-hmm. but I just wasn't. Speaking of ready, uh, La La Land and Moonlight. That was the the best picture flub. Oh, really? Where they were like they said La La Land and everyone got on stage and they're like it's Moonlight. Moonlight won, and then they like had to get off and like switch. That's so awkward, dude. That's fuck. Like, I don't consider many things awkward, mm-hmm. but that's awkward. No, the, the most awkward thing that had to be moved on because there was a performance right after it, John Travolta trying to pronounce Adina Menzel's name. And he's like, and now presenting the wickedly talented Adele Dazin. And then it just goes into the performance. And everyone's just like, uh, did you? And then, like, clip, dude. It's he does it with all the <laughs> conviction, and he's like, "This is the name," oh, and then it just. I would have asked like eighty people, like, "How do I pronounce it?" Like, <laughs> he saw it on like, the. He read it. He was reading a prompter. Adele. <laughs> Adele Dazim. Uva Java. <laughs> yeah, but okay. So last thing, we'll close it out. We've we've talked a lot. We've gone through some things. Three movies you would give to aliens. As the representation of what humanity is like. Of what humanity is like? like yeah. Like, it, the, the best representation of, like, who you are and or humans as a whole. Okay, easily number one. This isn't relevant to me, but it's relevant. Idiocracy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, I actually haven't seen that. <laughs> I heard Max. that we're basically living actually, in it now. Actually, no. Um, Blade Runner. Mad Max. Um, original, ri- original Blade Runner. Okay, yep. Um, I really like the last so You're going to confuse them. <laughs> I know. I know. I really liked the last. Um, no, I was gonna use the Mad Max. I just really liked it. Mm-hmm. I just love when he's strumming the guitar. Oh, and dude! The, I, I love Tom Hardy. And you know what's funny um, about Mad Max? I quick, watch it in quick. theaters and fell asleep. At during the movie, during that movie, I fell asleep during Mad Max. Oh! I don't know. It was at the end of the day. I don't know. I don't know. I was in theaters and I fell asleep. Don't ask me. I don't know. Um, my last film. <laughs> Um, now that at my... I've seen it, Now obviously. that every, every thought in here just got completely just yeah. slammed by a train. That's, I'm Lars von Trier in you. That's what it is. Um. I just wanted you to feel something when I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I derailed. I watched the movie. I've since revisited and watched the movie. I'm thinking. I just can't believe, like, I just... I never really understand the concept of, like, especially in theater. It's I've so never fallen asleep in theater. It's Was odd. it at the comfort? Yeah. Okay. The seats. All right, okay, okay. Recliner seats. Yeah, man. You, you should have started with that. Well, yeah. It wasn't a regal, let's yeah, just say. Just, just sitting straight <laughs> up. Like, um, I'm just snoring. It's like, I just get up and sleep. Walk, Dude, and I go get question. a drink. Myself? Idiocracy, Mad Max, and our Blade Runner. I guess that's your Apocalypse one. That's a good, yeah. Right. In idiocracy, it's just society. Just basically what's I'm happening right now. I'm the one for me. I don't know. What do you, what? Who? American Psycho. Yeah? <laughs> that's a good, no, I think that's a really good one. Dude, American Psycho, I just watched that again. Oh, it might be in top ten, dude. I love Christian Bale. That, that movie is hilarious. And it's terrifying. And it's 
the most well acted movie I could think of. Every single time he talks oh. to, especially the bar scene. Oh my god! Oh, what? the feed me a cat. Yeah, the feed me a cat. I just talked about that on a podcast. I'm like, that is the fucking best. How about thing when he shoots one bullet, the car explodes? Dude. Dude's like, boom, 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 boom. I watched that with someone. Once. He's like, I watched that with someone. He looked once, at the gun, and it oh was mad god. late, and she was like, Yeah. He's thinking that too. He thought, "There's <laughs> what years going on in your brain." He's also thinking that. And then he just runs into a hotel and then just shoots the guy to fucking start. And then he just goes around. Dude, the best, he passes the person in the hallway with, like, the papers. And then since it's, like, a revolving door, he, like, goes out, spins back around, shoots him, goes back out the revolving <laughs> door. Hilarious. But I love moments, too, where, that's like, a good one, it though. shouldn't be hilarious. Oh, that whole movie. It's hysterical. Oh, that whole movie is your... Like, you don't feel bad for this guy, so everything that's, like, bad happens to him, and you just laugh. Real quick to what we were talking about earlier, too, is a lot of people didn't like the... a lot. Of that movie got ruined for them when I was going back and reading oh, people's the, analysis. No, yeah. just the ending. Oh, really? It's so just, like... That ending's perfect! Exactly. But uh, because people are, like... It's a face in the crowd. Because people are just, like, oh, I need a distinct ending. Like, I need a... The good guy one or the bad guy one. I need that. No one's good in this movie. Exactly. Everyone is terrible. You know who the good person is in this movie? Fucking the, the secretary. That's basically it. And she's, and you know. She just gets treated like a doormat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that literally was uh, Don Draper, basically. Like, it was the same, like, Mad, uh, Mad Men. Mm -hmm. Which, also watched that. Fantastic I, series. I got bored. I only watched two episodes, though. I watched the first three to four seasons. And then I was like, okay. I could, this could be a movie and I would like it more. But, you know, that's why I like Goodfellas and haven't watched Sopranos. But I would watch Sopranos. My Sopranos. parents just watched that. And I they heard love it. nothing but good things. I'm they, hot, they said it's yeah. like, like Breaking five. Bad. That's like a Breaking Bad. Like, that was what was rivaling that. Yeah. But, did you watch that? Breaking Bad? Yeah. yeah. I haven't good. seen Camino, though, or El Camino. And, you know what I would describe it as? It's a, it's a fan film. It's I like, like those. And it's, it's a only really like an good hour. fan it's film. It's only like an hour, which it, I like. Well, it's and it's like it's a good fan film that the creator wrote. So you're like, it's true to like who the characters are. We're, and stuff. we're still talking. And I have you seen Peaky Blinders? No, I can't. I, oh my God. I know. Especially when your brother loves it. Yeah, and then you um, you just that's... that was the start of you telling me that I hate TV shows. And it's yeah, not that I don't yeah. hate TV he hates shows. TV shows. He I hates just TV I shows. I hate having to watch six hours to get the story. I'd rather um, watch it in an hour and a half. Which he makes a good point. I'm just saying. Um, you've seen True Detective season one. I have seen the first episode, I think, okay. and I don't think I watched the rest. Um, Nothing but good things too. Heard about that. Well, the only reason you why know. I bring up Peaky Blinders um, and that is because um, so they ended it mm -hmm. like it had an ending, right. and it reminded me of Camino. Um, or whatever, I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. and then, now they keep bringing more episodes, and I'm worried that they're just going to lose the quality of the story, yeah. because, not that that's what happened with that, but like you said, it's a fan mm -hmm. film, it doesn't, I, I haven't heard anyone, you could live no your life one's, no and one's, never watch it. Yeah, no one's be been like, yo, you need to see this, but everyone's like, yo, you yeah. need to see Breaking Bad. Yeah. I haven't heard a single person even mention that. If you like uh, suspense movies, and you like westerns, watch El Camino and then just be like like that's like a that's not like a Friday Saturday night watch that's like a Tuesday night watch right you know right. what I mean like that's it's like that was good too. yeah that was fine I enjoyed my hour my whatever. movie moods do you get in your movie moods yeah well generally it's like so me and my girlfriend have been watching RuPaul Drag Race and it's dude that is the greatest show it's, it's straight up you want to talk about a nature documentary that shit is like okay so gay dudes what is their favorite thing to be dramatic? What is that show literally about? Being the most dramatic What's you can. What's gonna make more money, dude? It's <laughs> so amazing, and it's like, oh, it's there. I've all heard like, a lot of people. It's I, great. It's funny that you because like I know exactly what it is. Yeah. people talk about it a lot. It's so good, dude. And the songs. Get I stuck feel in like your head. it's how like people. RuPaul, to... I think, supports fracking, but other than that, it's oh, great. That's awful. Yeah, but... I know. That's but RuPaul's everyone, the yeah. evil villain of the show. I think that's. The villain um, and also I feel the like judge. That's how like dance moms used to be back yeah. in the day. Like <laughs> yeah. people just watched it because it was not because anyone cared about dancing. Mm -hmm. Like my sisters kind of did, but it was about like the people wanted to see the moms fight. Oh, it's the drama. Jersey yeah, Shore. No one, that's yeah, all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. 
But yeah, I think uh, we should wrap it up. We're like an hour 20. We got to add. It might be a little bit. So is there anything you want to promote? Do you have a Twitch stream um, maybe? Twitch stream, if you ever want to check out, you're bored. It's a Friday night, Saturday night. I will probably be there streaming. Uh, Boom. It's, it's NASCAR underscore N-A-S-K-L-A-R underscore. Don't spell that underscore. It's the symbol. Just for anyone that would be confused. I have a Instagram. <laughs> It'll Twitter. be up. I'll, um, I'll put the I'm links. Usually around. They'll be around. Feel free to stop by. If you want. If you don't, I get it. Yeah. We're not that cool. As If you made it this far, you might want to check it out. Because I think you if you've, you know. You suffered long enough. Yeah. Why not suffer more, yeah? You might as well. If you're looking if you're looking to prolong the suffering, watch the house suffer of Jack with Bill. us. Suffer with us. Yeah. You know, life We're is pain, right? suffering too. We get it. We're... <laughs> We've we've been we've I ain't been here to talk about how great my life is. <laughs> Living at our parents' house, killing it. Someone's gotta do it. Hell yeah, dude. Well, we got trying to get that bread up. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, I've, I've mentioned bread as in money in the past few podcasts. Chones. Getting that getting bones. Chones and bones. Is chones like like change? Like chains and bills? I don't know. Chain man, and bills. My friend just started using it, so we just use it. The chones. Yeah. Clams. Clam. Yeah, clam. Get the clams. Get the. Um, Greenbacks, uh, Dead Presidents. Uh, I've never seen that actually. No, I have seen. You never heard Dead Presidents? No. That's, um, I got that no, from no, Logic. No, that's a movie. Um, and it too. also is a yeah. What's the? I saw a movie recently Rich is funny. with um, what's his face? Um, Woody Harrelson and yeah. he plays this dude who just kills everyone. It sounds like a lot of the movies that we've been talking about on um, this podcast. But he's like with a couple. It's like a girl. Uh oh. Uh, that the screen just stopped recording. It's fine. You know what I'm talking about though. Yeah, that's um, it's the one that Tarantino wrote and yes. Roger Stone directed, Natural Born Killers. Yes, that's yeah. what it was. That mm-hmm. was interesting. I, you know what? It wasn't like I wouldn't recommend it to people, but it wasn't like I, I didn't regret watching it. I bought the DVD, I threw it in, I watched the first like two minutes, I was done. I was like, this is. Eh. It wasn't great. It's fine. I, I read too that you can't fuck with the Tarantino script, dude. Yeah, that's it's what I read. What it is? That's man. what I read, dude. That Tony Scott. Tony Scott made True Romance exactly how Tarantino would have made it, except Tarantino would have put the things in different orders. True Romance. So like, is cool, dude. True Romance. I think it was should have. I, love those people. I think it. Me. It should have started with. Uh, did I show it to you? Mm-hmm. Well, you told me to watch it. It's good. It's really. It the dialogue. Oh, that's like. That it's, I watched it literally. I needed something. That's why I began my, mm-hmm. my began my list. Is mm-hmm. literally my list was all of your suggestions. I appreciate it. Um, and that was the one because I, I saw mm-hmm. I still haven't gone through the old um, samurai films because I've been mm-hmm. going through westerns. Yeah. One more to bring up. I'm sorry. I keep doing this. No, it it's fine. This seven, is seven seven. Magnificent Seven. Yeah, I just watched that for the first time. Oh right. The remake though. Oh, you watched old, right? You watched, watched the, new, the one. new one. It was cool with uh, Denzel Washington. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Chris Pratt. It was good. Yeah, I yeah. liked it. I I saw it. My buddy like, threw it on, and I was just like, okay, this is cool. Ethan Hawke's in it, dude. Ethan Hawke's in a lot of good shit. I don't know. I know the name. He's a um, face. Boyhood. I think he's in. Show me after. Oh yeah, I'll figure it. You'll see it on the screen probably. I might. I don't know. Who cares. If you're listening to this on audio, you won't see it on the screen. That's for sure. Fuck screens. Fuck screens. I think that's the moral of the story. But other than that, if you want my real quick movies I would show to aliens, yeah. it would be the movies that are on the wall. That's You got The Dark Knight. You got, you got superheroes, idols, basically gods. And those are like who you worship and support or whatever. And you got uh, psychology with the Joker, good and bad. You know, that's like the definitive, like prototypical story. Like I'd say the bat, like the Dark Knight, is like the best example of a great movie that I could give. Like, and almost everyone in our society has seen it. Yeah, yeah, and it and it's like number I think within the top five of like IMDb's. But you got the Dark Knight, you got Pulp Fiction. You just fucking throw all these wild cards, crazy as shit. Like this is this is the fringe, insane part of like crime. You got more crime and like the drugs and stuff, and it's like yeah, you get a, a lot of humanity back is crime. Time, and that was a right? that was an important time for us. That was a big pivot in like society, and like cell phones were there, but it wasn't smartphones. You have a lot more thinking, better thinking than yeah. I put into this. Well, and then that's <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. That's the other one because that's like what it's like to be a kid, and that's like my best example of like 
if you want to know how I felt walking through my whole life, it was that basically movie, Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. He's just trying to get people to like him, and then eventually he plays tetherball with a girl that settles with him. And it's good, and it's joyous, and you're just you're happy afterwards. You just you dance on that stage, dude. Work it. And that's what this is. So that's I just that's why I asked that question because I was like That was a really good question. That's what I give that these are the answers of like if someone asked me my favorite movie, that's the answer I've pre made because like I couldn't tell you it'll probably change. I had to do it. But like Pulp Fiction is just my yeah. like easy go to. Pulp Fiction is the cliche answer, but it is also the it changed correct movies answer. it changed movie watching though for me <laughs> that i it. didn't for a while like i don't even remember watching that movie i just have always loved that movie from did like, i ever tell you my first time watching it no so a lot of people used to tell me or tell or still say that my dad sounds and look like travolta without the hair in it mm. like well that's the movie that like they the would cool pick. yeah yeah um and there's Which definitely times says a lot, my... to be honest. Just at how you turned out. <laughs> um, Completely get that 100%. Just saying. Thank you. You got it. You're cool. Um, That's what I mean. Appreciate it. Fucking. You make me blush. Got, this, got the steez. I'm going to be fully torqued on camera. <laughs> um, anyways. I'll just do a zoom in. It was a. It was senior year, and I was just like, fuck it. I'm not sick, but I'm staying home. Mm-hmm. I was like on my laptop, kind of on my phone, and I was like, I finally want to watch this movie. I didn't know anything. I, didn't, I had no clue what Pulp Fiction was about. Just knew it was a name that existed that I had seen a lot. Mm-hmm. I I didn't even know who me. I didn't know. I knew none of it. I, mm-hmm. I knew none of it. Um, you knew like the the province. I put in, it on, in, and yeah. I was just kind of half ass watching it, like how some people usually watch movies. When mm-hmm. I tell someone to watch a movie, they're like, "Oh, wasn't that?" I was like, "You didn't actually watch the movie. You mm-hmm. sat on your phone." I looked up at one point and I said. I looked around, no one was home. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Because in between scenes, it switched, and I didn't realize it. Oh, like the timeline? Yeah. So I put my my laptop down, yeah. I took my fucking phone, tossed it on a different couch, and I rewatched the movie. And I was uh, I was an hour and a half in. Hmm. So I just sat down, I put everything away, yeah. and I finished it. And I was like, what a good fucking movie. Yeah, like, man. and I was like... Dude, that soundtrack, unmatched. On top of the soundtrack, like, the square thing I love, the the fucking Marcellus Wallace's Band-Aid. Oh. Like, it's the all the, wolf. It's mystery. The it's all mystery. The wolf just pulls up and he goes, you're sending the wolf? Hell, he goes, shit, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I love that part. Dude. That part alone, like... Do that, that. Does that, does that, uh, what is it, Marcellus? Does that make you feel better, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> is that better, motherfucker? Yeah, dude. That fucking movie, I can't... I can't make a podcast without talking about it, to be honest. And I, I, I want you can make a podcast just on it. No, I for sure like the whole. I could have multiple episodes and then just bring in other people and be like, "So you've seen it, right?" <laughs> Honestly, that could be a special show. I, I should, you know what? I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna ask everyone that comes on. Have you seen? But what do you think, dude? It is one of my like. It's a landmark judgment film. questions. Like yeah. if I go up to someone and they're like, "Oh, I watch films," they're like, okay, give me take Pulp Fiction. And yeah, if they're like, oh, I've never seen that. Well, haven't seen it is like, okay, so you're about to know, you're about to be introduced to something that you have never seen before. And also, if you don't like it, you better have a smarter reason than he said the N-word. Because that's bullshit and you're a pussy. That's all I'm going to say on that. Because honestly, even that part is like iconic. Do people not talk like that? Do right. people not say that word? People do. Obviously, it's not throughout the entire movie. Obviously, Bruce is Willis too, like, isn't flipping it people off. It changes the tone though, because yeah. they're all they're trying to be like wishy washy with the coffee, and, it's and there's a dead dude there. Yeah, and and also people are like, no one's ever dealt with a dead. No one's dealt with mobster reality. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, That's yeah. The crime, dude. You watch Reservoir Dogs. All those people. I was are just pieces about to say shit. that before. Is oh, that, um, so pe- bad. More people. I recommend actually. I recommend that to people. I would watch that first. And I recommend watch because Fiction. also because it's it's quicker. People yeah, that's can't true. handle. People can't. We live in mm-hmm. a people's have been short circuited by phones. I I have myself. I'm well, that's not, why I like that movie because right? it flips around so much that like, you're basically keeps, like, okay, what's even to, happening? You have to keep focus. Yeah, but with those hard dogs, I love telling the people because it's quick. People can say it, it's super easy to follow, but mm-hmm. it's, it's different. Right. But yeah, I think that movie, in terms of like, just changing how all movies oh, dude, happen we saw afterwards. That thing, we saw that thing Crazy. together on Tarantino. That was so cool. Yeah. About oh how, yeah, we went um, to go see the documentary. What's that dude? The dude who does the dancing scene. How he was like, I was um, petrified. 
Oh, you're talking he's about famous. Michael Madsen. Yeah. That's yeah. What it was no, he he. It was not a violence guy. He's never he like the fact that Tarantino could pull that performance out of that guy. Insane. Dude, and then the other guy who Crazy. was like, he was like, uh, Tarantino knew what diner I would show up to. Oh, the dude who played Jackie Brown, or played Max Cherry. Oh, the Forrester, Robert Forrester. Yeah, he yep. was like... Yeah, he, he revived was, his career, basically. He wrote the character... The, for the, him. For him, and he mm-hmm. was like, dude, like, that's, yeah, like you said, it's so cool. And it's like, he was at, like, the end of his road, acting-wise, and, like, honestly, I mean, I will say, we're, we should stop, but, well, I don't want to end with this, but Harvey Keitel... A little bit overrated, in my opinion. He's, he's fine. He looks great. He acts as the wolf perfectly. All other roles, because eh. he was in uh, he was in the gentleman or the Irishman. Was he? I oh and, oh yeah he was. And it was yeah. just like eh. that. And I did also watch Sister Act recently with the Whoopi Goldberg, and he plays the bad guy in that. I don't know if it's the director's fault, but he's not selling it, man. He didn't sell. I don't think he can do that. No. Real well. Whoopi Goldberg. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. She killed it. Harvey Keitel, I don't know. He's a mobster guy in that movie. So, I don't know. But we'll end it. I don't know. I, I, this may or may not be recording still. I think it is. But is there anything? Promote your podcast one more time. I'm good. Thanks for having me, man. Or not your I'm podcast, glad, your Twitch. I'm just glad to be here. If anyone listens, thank you for listening. We had another 15, 20 after we promoted. So, go back if you want to. I'll put it in the description. It'll be on the screen. Is there any last words? Any last words? Thanks for having me. You got it. Go watch the House of Jack build if you want nightmares. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) Okay, we're done. We have to be done.